What's up, everybody? Welcome in to the Early Edge. I'm your host, Alan Bell. We've got a fantastic show lined up for you today. And I'll tell you what, before we get to that, let's take a quick look at how we did on Friday. And oof, tough one on the morning show. Never good when you're looking at a one and five. However, the Early Edge and five comes through for us. Evens out the day. So you know what? Started tough in the morning, but we came through in the afternoon, brought it. And I'll tell you what. We got a lot planned for today, a lot on the show, and no losing mornings. We're going to crush it here today. Before we get to our picks and experts, first I want to talk about the Fantasy Football Today Draftathon coming up on Wednesday, August 31st. We've got plenty of items to bid on in the said Fantasy Football Draftathon store. Up for bid, we got video calls with prop stars, buckets, maestro. We also have two guest spots available for you to join an episode of The Early Edge right here. And I'll tell you what, all the money goes to St. Jude's. Couldn't be a better group to donate money to. All right, let's bring in the stars of the show. And we're running four wide today, looking sharp. First up, my man, Micah Roberts. How are we doing, sir? Gentlemen, good morning. Glad to be here and uh, hope to hear some winners. Uh, interested with uh, Gombas to hear about the championship fight. Somebody told me the dog plus 320 was pretty good. Ooh, you know what? I'm excited about that. And Gombas, I'll tell you what, coming right at you. First off, how you doing, sir? Doing well, guys. Good to be here as always. Looking forward to getting into it today. Man, I tell you what, I am too. And Buckets, my man, live from the new spot. All right, we got to see the dog walk this morning. Have a good soccer park across the street. My man, how we doing, sir? I'm doing good. I don't have any of my Byron flags or scarfs up or anything yet, but I have Wi-Fi, and that was the priority. So excited for the weekend. <laughs> Wi-Fi indeed, my man, the most important part of it. Now, Getting into the storylines that affect the betting lines for today. Gob is coming over to you. We got UFC 278 tonight. It's a big one. Break down the card for us. What's the main event? What fights should we be looking for? Break it down, buddy. Yeah, we've got a rematch in the main event. 170-pound title is on the line. Kamaru Usman is defending his title against Leon Edwards. They fought all the way back in 2015. Usman took that fight via decision. Leon Edwards has not lost since that fight. So this is a big one. Um, Usman about a minus 300, minus 350 favorite. Um, we got the co-main event. Paulo Costa versus Luke Rockle, which would be a ton of fun. And then Marab Dvalishvili versus Jose Aldo. Are, that's three fights that are really, really, really good. So I'm looking forward to this card. Um, a lot of a lot of fights that should end inside the distance. So for those of you who like violence, definitely tune in tonight. <laughs> those of you that like violence i'll say it it's yes. gonna be first an awesome card and second make sure to pay attention to andrew gobbins on twitter throughout the day throughout the night he's always breaking down the fights live plays etc you need to follow him for sure all right buckets coming over to you my man all right looking in little international soccer you know what i'm feeling portuguese this morning all right break it down what do we need to know the information there we got so in the Portuguese Primera Liga this afternoon, we have what is, in my opinion, the match of the day. We have FC Porto taking on Sporting Lisbon. These are the two best teams in Portugal, bar none. They are consistently finding themselves in international competitions, including the Champions League. And every time these two teams play, it is a fiery matchup. We saw them play back in February in a game that saw four red cards, all within the last five minutes of the match. So these are two teams that don't really like each other. But, they're two, two, but these are two teams that score a lot of goals. So this is one we're going to want to keep an eye on this afternoon. You know what? You're definitely right, man. We are going to keep an eye on that one for sure. What we're also going to keep an eye on is taking a quick break and hearing from one of our partners. And we are back. All right, we've got one play for you today from the Sportsline site. We are going to take the Commanders and the Chiefs under 44 NFL preseason. Now, understand, it is the NFL preseason, so be careful there. All kinds of crazy things can happen. However, what we've noticed from week one to week two in the NFL preseason, the books have juiced the totals up around six points or so, and we've seen unders, unders, unders coming through. You're looking at two veteran coaches in Andy Reid and Ron Rivera, who in the second half of this game are going to run the ball, run the clock, and get out of there. So take the under 44 in that one. Have some fun with it, understanding it is the preseason, but we're taking the under 44 there all right enough of me yapping here micah my man coming over to you first you got two plays yep. major league baseball break them down what do you got yeah we're gonna go with the brewers uh early game i think it's 11 20 pacific time and uh short price 
really you got Freddie Peralta. He's been back three starts, two runs or less in each of them, but they've lost two of those games. Uh, not his fault, though. He's pitching well, getting back into form. He missed a few months, uh, so this is his fourth start. I like him a lot because a lot of it goes with Marcus Stroman. This guy, he's pitched well all season long, and he can't buy a win. He's lost his last three starts. The Cubs have lost 12 of his 16 starts this season, so it's kind of a pick on Stroman pick. Even though the Cubs have won four straight, they've only won by one in their last three, so they're kind of, I wouldn't want to say getting lucky, but they're playing good, deserving getting the, the good wins there. And then we're going to go with the Orioles, and it's kind of a, a stand-up moment for these guys, uh, one and a half games out of the wild card. Really bad sign when they lost that one game set to the Cubs. I mean, that was just a horrible loss for them. They needed that. And I'm glad to see they bounced back yesterday. And so in turn, just kind of riding with the, the playoff hopes and second win of the Orioles after kind of struggling a little bit and playing 500 ball for the last week, two weeks. Um, I'm going to come back with them here. And this is uh, Kyle Bradish. He's been amazing. Uh, last four starts, they've won them all. He's been incredible. His last two beating the Blue Jays in big wins as an underdog. And Michael Walker has been out for a while, but he came back strong against the Yankees his last time out. I think they get to him and then get to the bullpen and get the win. I love it, man. Now, I've got two things for you, Mike, yeah. really quick. All right, sure. first up, NASCAR this weekend. All right, we've got a road course, so I, I would like you to break down the race, where we're at, what you're looking at, and two, our man Trent Wade coming at you because, look, you've been fire as of late, and he's been pretty good, too. He likes Joey Logano over William Byron at minus 112 and also Chase Elliott over Reddick at minus 126. So what are we looking at at NASCAR this weekend? I love both those plays. And Logano is a guy, he's been really good at Watkins Clan over his career. He's got three Xfinity wins in the last eight years, I believe, there. And he also has a 2015 win in the Cup Series. He's been good. Uh, I, th I like that matchup a lot there. Byron still does not have a top five since Martinsville in week eight. And Chase Elliott, I think he's finally going to win at Watkins Glen. Uh, this is a place where he won his first career race, Cup race at Watkins Glen. And He's, uh, I think he's won there three times, two times, but he's, he's going, he hasn't won on a road race his last seven starts on him, which is amazing because he won seven, ele seven of 11 prior to that, that run of not winning. So I think this is a spot where he finally gets the win. It's a track, it's fast, uh, not a lot of technical turns. And uh, so that's going to favor Elliott a lot. I think uh, five to one, six to one on LA, it looks like a, a good play to win. Nice. I like it, man. And, you know, it, it's it's wild how streaky road course races can be, right? Whether positive or negative. Well, this year uh, in the first four, their first time winners, like they've never won anywhere. So Tyler Reddick won his first two races, both on the road courses, the last two. And then you have track house racing with Chastain and Suarez winning their first career uh, cup win. So pretty impressive and pretty um, telling about this new car and the people, you know, you, you've seen Bad teams rise up to the level, and then you've seen the good teams drop down, so everybody's at the same pace, and you can't cheat anymore, and I hate that. Cheating is what it's all about in NASCAR. You can't do it anymore. You know what? I'm pro-cheating as well, man. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Gabba's coming over to you, man. You got two plays, UFC 278 tonight. Break it down, bro. What do you got? Yeah, so we've got uh, two plays tonight, one money line, one total. I'll start with the total. Alexander Romanov taking on Marcin Tibera at the heavyweight division. I like the over one and a half. You can get it at about minus 180 right now. I think the over sh under should be set at 2.5, not 1.5. I think the books and the betters are overrating Romanov's finishing ability here. Tibera is a very competent grappler, and Romanov's going to look to land takedowns. I think even if he gets those, it's not like he's going to just finish Tibera right away. Tibera, a very competent grappler, fought a very high level of competition. I like the over one and a half. We've seen way less grapplers last over a round and a half against Romanov. I don't see why Tibera can't. Um, so I like the over one and a half there. And then on the money line, I like Lucy Pudilova, minus 120. Um, I think this is short. I think she's going to land her jab all night long. She has good cardio, good output. She was let go from the UFC back in early 2020. Has went six and one since then. I think this is a good spot for her to get a win in the UFC. Man, I'll tell you what. You say it's a good spot. I'm all in riding that one for sure. I can't wait for tonight. It's going to be fantastic. All right. Buckets. My dude. All right. First up, you're in the maestro spot. All right. 
no pressure, no diamonds. We're not worried about that at all. So you got some plays, international soccer. But before that, man, let's get some good luck, good karma mojo going today. I forgot we still had that clip, AB. I <laughs> love that so much. And last time we played it, things went well. So let's keep it going today. We're going to be jumping right into that Porto and Sporting Lisbon match that we talked about in our storyline. Again, these are the two best attacking teams in all of Portugal. These two teams average more than three goals scored per game by themselves. And somehow we're getting both teams to score at minus 130 here. Love that value. That starts at 3.30 this afternoon. Our second pick, we're going to the German Bundesliga. And this game starts at 12.30 this afternoon. We're taking Union Berlin versus RB Leipzig. Leipzig recently just brought back striker Timo Werner from Chelsea with open arms, and he has done phenomenal for this roster already. He has boosted the morale of this team, and now RB Leipzig contains multiple attacking threats to rip through teams. They're playing against Union Berlin, though, who is one of those kind of bizarre teams that aren't great, but when they play at home, they seem unbeatable. We're taking both teams to score here at minus 140 as well. Then in our third and final pick, we're going for the game that's starting the soonest. This game starts at 11 a.m. in France's Ligue 1, so get these bets in quickly. We have AS Monaco versus RC Lens. We're taking AS Monaco over one and a half goals team total. Monaco is just like Union Berlin. They're one of those teams that when they play at home, it's just a whole different monster. They're still looking for their first win at home this year, and I do believe it's going to come this, or this morning here over in France. You know, I tell you what, you talk about, you know, betting bizarre teams. That's right up my alley. I love bizarre bets, bizarre teams. Give it to me, man. I'm all excited. Now, real quick, our man Christian in the chat says, Bucket's got that official footballer haircut. <laughs> Look at Sharp. Dude, Micah's got it, too. Like, you two have fantastic hair. Gobbis, not leaving you out. You're a <laughs> solid mind. Horrific. That's why we wear a hat. But somebody's got to bring it, and you guys do. Well done on the follicles on that one. Dude, just good heads of lettuce. I like it. All right, everybody, before we grab our paper, grab our pencil, the jeweler has sent in two things that you need to pay attention to in your feeds today. The AFC West NFL Futures bets the full show coming today, 3 p.m. Eastern. It will drop in your podcast and YouTube feeds. The NFC South Futures show will drop tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. Again, podcast and YouTube in your feed. So make sure to pay attention and be ready for that. Now, grab your paper, grab your pencil. Take a little recap here. Micah is on the Brewers' money line, minus 120. Orioles' money line, plus 110. Buckets, you know I can't read it. Go ahead. Read through your three again. What do you got? Porting versus Sporting, or Porto versus Sporting Lisbon, both teams to score. Union Berlin versus RB Leipzig, both teams to score. And AS Monaco versus RC Lens. Monaco team total over one and a half. Beautiful. Gombas, you're going to have to do it for me, too. You got two plays. What do you got? Happy to. So I like the Romanov Tibera over one and a half rounds, minus 180, and Lucy Pudilova at minus 120. Man, you two are perfect. Our side play from the NFL preseason, Commanders, Chiefs, under 44. Now, the AB, usually AB pick three, has moved to an AB pick four for today because we're fired up. We're going to go MLS, all four of these. New York, Cincinnati, both teams to score, minus 145. Montreal, New England, both teams to score, minus 145. Colorado, Houston, both teams to score minus 165, and Salt Lake, Vancouver, both teams to score minus 135. So, fellas, it's all the damage we could do for today. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be live Sunday morning, normal time, 10 a.m. Eastern, as we always are. But until then, everybody, best of luck. Let's cash these tickets, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.